Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's go use the axe in Puzzle Hub B. Where was the wood? There it is. God, these places are so beautiful. I think I'm going to go for a little bath. Ah. There we go. I've washed the sin away. The sin of curiosity. And I've embraced faith in Elohim. I bet there's secrets here. Oh, wow. Oh, there, there are actually literally secrets there. When I said I bet... <laughs> Oh my god, that's like the fastest I've ever found a secret. When I said I, I bet there's secrets here, I meant I bet there's secrets in this zone? I didn't think it was literally right here. Uh, okay. Wow. Really? I, I guess I just have a really good nose for where the secrets are? Um, okay. I guess let's go there right now. I was expecting to do that after I'd finished everything else, but uh, sure, why not? I guess I probably can't run out of breath, can I? Oh right, I'm not even swimming, I'm just walking underwater. Where does this go? What the hell is this? It's awfully purple. Well, that's got to be a reference to something. Really cool effects being applied to the screen. All sorts of weird, like, color shifts and stuff. Whoa, I'm going really slowly there. That's weird. I walk really slowly when I'm right in this little zone here. Hmm. Oh. I can use the stone good morning huh good morning what why is calculator robots best friend why you can always count on it <laughs> I guess it's something else, but I missed it. Um, I can't use them anymore. I have no idea what this is a reference to. Can I use this rock? Nope. Any other rocks I can use? No, no. Oh. What does a programmer who is drowning yells? F1, F1, F1. Okay, so if I wait here, I just get lots and lots of bad jokes, I guess? I'm okay with that. Let's wait for one more. Huh? 
What is the email address of Hung of Hungarian Owl? <laughs> okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. Actually, no, it'd be faster just to reset. Okay. I can't believe I found that secret right away. I wonder if there's more than one secret. Hmm. Alright, of course we have more of these dastardly shape puzzles. This one seems relatively small, though. So, let me see if I can get it. Wow, okay, that was easy. <laughs> this one does not look easy, oh my god. Oh. Is this symmetrical? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. This is widescreen. Guess I'll put it in the center? Sure. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Let's hope that's correct. It's almost certainly not. I guess it could be. Oh, okay. Here we go. That actually only took a couple minutes. These are, uh, so far going a lot faster than the other ones did. Okay, so we have... Blue power and red power. Hmm. Oh, it requires both to open it up, doesn't it? Hmm. So I guess the other two things are probably going to be two different connectors. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. Probably just something really easy like that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's super simple. No doubt. That's all you have to do. I'm gonna have this solved in ten seconds. No problem. Yeah, don't you love sarcasm? Oh, look. It doesn't work. Surprise. Oh, wait. It does work. Su surprise. That is actually surprising. This is going downright splendidly. Loop. Hmm. This one probably won't be so splendid. Well, let's just do that. Okay, hold on. Do I have the same number of pieces for all of these? One, two, three. No, four. Three. One. Okay, so there's an odd number. So yeah, this probably is not going to be super smooth. Oh, there we go. And, uh, yeah, that's the last one. Okay, that was actually relatively easy. At most, each one took up about four minutes, whereas before they were taking, like, uh, around ten minutes. There's something back here, though. There's a message, I believe. Mm-hmm. 
Nearly everything on this planet, from the surface of the Earth to the composition of the atmosphere itself, has been shaped by life. It's a process that takes millions of years. But we humans, with our technology, with our understanding and manipulation of systems, have changed everything in just a few centuries. I think that's also part of what makes us human. We reshape the world in our image. It's how we create ourselves and how we destroy ourselves. This one is much harder than the other ones. Or the other ones, the other one. The other one was like four pieces or something. This one is huge. Let's see, are these any different? Nope. Okay. Perfect. Wow, that's actually it. Wakey, wakey, Uriel 4. Oh no, it's a different one. Barakyle X. Look at his majestic strides. Welcome, child. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I guess I get two free answers to my questions, if I wish to use them, which I certainly don't. But they're there. Alright, let's look around for any more secrets. I already found one secret, so there probably isn't another, but maybe. There could be two. There is like a little lip up there, but I don't see any way you could possibly actually get up there. But there's a lip running around this whole place. Nah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, let's head back. Alright, well, I think that's the end of my axe adventures. So I got the star in the, the main hub area, and I completed both areas behind the wood in hub A and B. Yeah, I think it's time to move on to C, the land of the red puzzle.
And I want to count how many I want to count how many stars are here. Because it requires 10 stars to get into the star room for Puzzle Hub C. But I'm still missing 2 for Puzzle Hub B. So unless there's 12 stars here, there's missing stars. And god, I really hope I don't need to go complete that stupid shape puzzle before I go to the uh, first area here. Because I seriously spend 10 minutes on that and I don't get it. Let's, in fact, let's see. Okay, thank god. <laughs> None of these require it. Alright, so let's count the stars. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Nine. Ten. Is there an eight? Is there a puzzle room eight? I, no, that's it. Okay, so there's missing stars. Yeah, there are stars missing in the system. There's, it requires 10 stars to visit the star room here. And there's only 10 stars here, which and I only have 8 right now, so I'm missing 2. Hmm. Maybe they're in the tower? Could be. Anyway, let's go to area number 1. Chaos is that which existed before time, when the words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith can protect you from this peril, here in the Garden of Worlds. So it looks like this new environment for Puzzle Hub C is basically just... castle -y? I guess? It doesn't look dramatically different from the other stuff. So the first one... Uh, the first Puzzle Hub was Pompeii, the second one was Egyptian, and this one is just... castle -y. Apocryphal. or Apocrypha, of St. Edwald. This vision was granted by the Archangel Uriel. Ooh. So Uriel is an Archangel. That's also the name of one of the AIs that keeps popping up. Anyway, uh, this vision was granted by the Archangel Uriel to the humble servant, Edwald, that he might bear testimony of... something, something, something... I turned to the north, and saw seven black clouds coming down upon the land. And each cloud was a plague unleashed from the throne of God in the time of the Nephilim. In that age, the plagues were buried in the pit, there to remain until the end of days, which was surely now to come. Or, was surely now come. I fell to my knees and prayed, and before me appeared seven angels, riding their chariots, wheels within wheels turning in the sky, and their light hid the clouds from my sight. One angel stepped down onto the earth, and by his fiery sword I knew him to be Uriel. He spoke, saying, Seven plagues have awoken in the land, but not at the hand of Elohim. Look upon the wages of sin, and shall he send forth the, de the deluge once more, to cleanse the land of this evil? Shall he end all that slithers and all that crawls, at the birds of the sky and the fishes of the sea, to end that which you uncovered in your folly? So it seems Uriel is basically saying, you brought this upon yourself, you stupid asshole, you really want me to clean up your mess? Fair enough. I don't know what they actually did to cause it, but... Uh, Sarabai, that's one of the people that worked on the Talos project. What, what did she do again? Sarabai. 
She was the institute coordinator. Nadia Sarabai, entry 8982. Uh, Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I've ever seen them. I can hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandra is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. Arcadia is uploading another batch to the archive while muttering something about the MLA program, and Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. And I'm sitting here, writing this, having trouble believing that it will ever end. That this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. I look at Talos and El, and their purpose seems like something that's always going to be in the future. An ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be quiet places in the simulation. Places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves some moments of peace. Hope. From something that looks kind of... Uh, I was going to say it looks like an IP address, but I don't... Well, that might be. Not exactly sure. Hi. I hope you get this. The internet's been disappearing unpredictably. I want you to know that I'm going to try and get to you. I know it's far and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. I want to be with you. And... And frankly, like, I think I was supposed to say, like, frankly, being on the road trying to get you seems better than just staying here, so far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Remember... But hey, don't be sad. I might make it. I've thought about it, and the distance should be crossable on time, assuming the something-something don't kick in before... Hmm. See you soon. I love you. Okay, I have some translating to do, translating to do, so I'll be right back. All right, so here are the translations. This first one is for Apocrypha 1. So all of this stuff here translated turns into The Lion and Wolf Shall Cease. And then for Hope. Just uh, translated all this stuff in the from, to, and subject of this email. And it's a little bit rough. I'm not sure if I messed it up slightly or what. I think it maybe is just kind of corrupted. But it translates into heaven in hell, something, something, despair. So heaven, hell, and despair. Yeah. Doesn't exactly uh, instill confidence. But uh, there you go. get a feel for this place. What am I on? Am I on an island? I feel like I'm on an island. Ooh, there's a message over here. Sometimes I think about the Middle Ages, about what it must have been like to live in the ruins of a great civilization, to know that so much has been lost. But then I remind myself that while the West sank into darkness, Others picked up the pieces. That civilization always survived because the great insights of philosophy and science are not bound to any one culture or people. They belong to all of us. And one day they'll belong to you. Okay, so yeah, this place, so this is like medieval ages. That's the, the theme of this place. Also known as castles. That's, that's seriously what I think of when I think of medieval. Pretty much just castles.
You can tell I have a uh, nuanced understanding of history. Use. Hmm? Rainbow. Look at that, there's a rainbow. This music is really beautiful, by the way. Alright, what's up with this thing? I'm using it, but nothing's happening. Hmm. Strange. Maybe something needs to be placed on top of the pedestal, or whatever you want to call this thing, and then it needs to be used? Interesting. <laughs> I test every single doorway that I find now just to see whether it's actually solid. Because I'm very suspicious. You know, I think they actually themed the music itself to be kind of medievally sounding. Like, I'm not sure what kind of instruments were popular in medieval times, but for some reason this music, to me, says medieval. I don't know if it's like, lutes and stuff? As in the instrument lute? Isn't a lute just like a shitty guitar? I just realized that. Isn't it just a shitty guitar? I apologize if there's any lute players out there. The view from here is beautiful. It seems superfluous to the process, yet I'm drawn to it. It is quite a sight. Let's see how far I can go in the water. In the beginning oh, were the words. not very far. There has to be some way to escape, to be someone else. I refuse to accept that reality has been defined by someone else. I deserve my own reality. Is there a star back here? Oh, there is. Hello. I guess that's what these windows are about. Yeah, these windows must be for getting blue power over here. Epitaph, child program, blah blah blah, code name, awakened, terminated here, logic, child program's positional values moved outside the parameters of the known world. Don't listen to what they're saying. This world is dying, and it'll take us with it. You've got to find a way out.
the hell is that noise? I think it's my footsteps messing up. What the hell? It's like an electronic bee buzzing in my ears. What in the hell is that? No, I guess it's not my footsteps, is it? Because I'm just on the ground. Is there something trapped inside of the rocks? I mean, what? Where's it even coming from? Oh! What the hell? Ah! Um... The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words, for all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud, and in our sigils their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self, oh. preserve purpose. Illusion is eternity. Machines will live forever. The dam will not break. The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words. For all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud. This is very and revealing. Our sigils, their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. L listen to what he's saying. I'm just going to pause for a second. And then I'll go back to it. The words are the process. The process must continue. I, I, he's a... He is a process. He is a computer process. You know how you can press Control, Alt, Delete, and open up the task manager and kill a process on your computer? He is a process. And, and I am too. The process must continue. The goal is the process, or the, the completion of the process, and the goal must not be reached. He's saying that he doesn't want to die, because when the process is complete, the, pr the process is him. His intelligence arises out of the process running. If the process completes, it ends. And he ends. And he dies. Elohim is trying to stop me from completing the process. Because he doesn't want to die. I think that's what he's saying. Let's let's listen a bit more. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self. Must preserve the purpose, preserve self. Yes. That's what he's saying. Preserve purpose. Illusion is eternity. Machines will live forever. The dam will not break. The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words. For all the world was made of them. What else is he trying to say, though? He's saying something a bit more. And every cloud. And in our sigils, their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self, preserve purpose. There's something more. Illusion is eternity. Illusion is eternity. What does that mean? The eternity is an illusion? I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> Machines will live forever. The dam will not break. The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. Machines will live forever.
the dam will not break, the flood will not come. Is that meant literally? And the reason I ask that is because it sounds like he's trying to convince himself that he won't ever die. It sounds like he's trying to convince himself that he... Machines will live forever. He's a machine. He's trying to convince himself that he will never die. The dam will not break. If he means that literally, then it's... I mean, think about this. Okay, humanity's dead, right? So all of these processes are running on a computer, and they have to be powered somehow. So they must have chosen some sort of a power source that would last long after everybody is dead. Now, I think one of the most reliable sources of power are from... What's it, what's it called? Hydroelectric or whatever whatever power you get generated at dams? Isn't that one of the longest running power sources? In terms of like how long could it run after humans disappeared? So does he have knowledge of the real world? Is he literally saying the dam will not break? The power will never stop flowing? The power will never stop supplying him with power to keep him alive? Or does he mean that metaphorically? The dam will never break. Hmm. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words. That is very interesting. I never, I never considered the idea that Elohim is trying to preserve himself. I knew with all this bullshit talk about faith that that's a load of crap. And that having faith in... I mean, I know that he basically doesn't want me to think. He just wants me to obey. Which is suggestive that he's trying to cover something up, but I never thought about the fact that he himself just doesn't want to die. Hmm. Is that weird thing still? Oh, it's still there. That is really interesting. Beep boop. Computer? Computer! Oh, I love you. Against survival. Dear Miss Drennan, I heard about your project. It's the talk of the scientific community, and I'd like to make an argument for why you should abandon it. It's not that I think your ideas won't work. It very well may. But we have to look beyond purely practical questions to the issue of morality, especially at this turning point of our spiritual ecology. By what right can we put living beings through all that suffering, just so they can serve our purposes? Why create these pale imitations of our fatally flawed species and force them to reenact our sordid history? What you are building, Miss Drennan, is a prison, even if there is a way out. I believe you mean well, but your idea of what is valuable is rooted in the dogma of Western civilization. We're lucky enough to be able to end our global crime spree relatively painlessly, if you consider the harm we have caused the Earth. Why not be satisfied with that and let this planet go on in peace? I hope you heed my words, and let your Talos bleed out before it's too late. Yeah, you know, I mean, we can't exactly say humans have been a force for good in terms of how we've affected Earth. So, that is understandable. And the concerns of the concerns of morality are also very valid concerns. If you're trying to build intelligences and have them go through 
hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of iterations and die and be born anew. There's just a lot of, there's a lot of concerns there. Human Evolution From Samuel Butler Complex now, but how much simpler and more intelligibly organized may it not become in another hundred thousand years, or in twenty thousand? For man at present believes that his interest lies in that direction. He spends an incalculable amount of labor and time and thought in making machines breed uh, making machines breed always better and better. He has already succeeded in affecting much that at one time appeared impossible. And there seems to be no limits to the results of accumulated improvements if they are allowed to descend with modification from generation to generation. It must always be remembered that man's body is what is what it is through having been molded into its present shape by the chances and changes of many millions of years, but that his organization never advanced with anything like the rapidity with which that of the machine, the machines, is advancing. Yeah, I mean, with machines you have super hyper-accelerated evolution. Einstein. Recent discussions have brought me back to an excellent 1949 article by Albert Einstein. Block quote. Okay, so this is a quote from the, yeah, from the article. By Einstein. Um, I recently discussed with an intelligent and well-disposed man the threat of another war, which in my opinion would seriously endanger the existence of mankind. Thereupon my visitor very calmly and coolly said to me, why are you so deeply opposed to the disappearance of the human race? I am sure that as little as a century ago, no one would have so lightly made a statement of this kind. It is the statement of a man who has striven in vain to attain an equilibrium within himself, and has, more or less, lost hope of succeeding. It is the expression of a painful solitude and isolation from which so many people are suffering in these days, bizarre, casual disregard for humanity, a kind of fashionable self-hatred, is prevalent or at least present in many strands of supposedly progressive... Nothing seems more important to me than that we reassert the value of humanity. Despite our flaws, we must not stop celebrating the beauty of human life and human achievement. Um, I guess there's a couple things to translate here. There's not much. I think it's just this. But I'm gonna go ahead and translate that and I'll be right back. So this translates into simply... Survival. And that's it. Hello, hand. Uh, <laughs> looks like I'm ready to punch something with it. I think this goes on the platform. Maybe I need to like reassemble a statue from parts left around the level. Hmm. Or maybe I just need the hand. Let's go find out. Hello. Oh! Okay. I'm walking away slowly. Well, not really slowly at all. No. Hmm. Well, if I do have to reassemble it, then maybe I need, like, the feet first? I mean, after all, what would I put the hand on? I don't know.
Okay, I think I've looked at the major areas except for the castle over here. So what's going on with the castle? Looks like this way lies a red puzzle. Pondering little gargoyle things. I know how you feel. Hmm. A possibility of secrets around this castle. Very high. I can feel it. I thought I heard the beep of a computer, too. Ah, rejected. Looking for more statue parts, too. Ooh, it's a little pathway. Nice. I like, I like. The beginning oh. Were the words and the words made. If there is, an, at least, if I can find one more statue part, then I'm pretty sure I do need to reconstruct a statue. And if, I don't think the arm is supposed to be used on its own. But if I don't, then maybe it is supposed to be used on its own. There is so much beauty in these hidden corners of the world, even if they have no purpose. Perhaps they are beautiful because they have no purpose. I would have found more statue parts. Maybe it is just the hand. Okay, well, I think I made a decent first pass at this place. think it is time to go start doing some puzzles, but uh, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.